Okay, virtual private servers or VPSs is something a lot of websites can benefit from, but not that many people fully understand how or why. So let's talk about it. What is a VPS? How does it work? The pros, the cons, and should you use one? As the name suggests, virtual private servers run in a virtual environment that's dedicated just for you and is created on a physical server. For example, imagine you have a physical computer that's being used by four people. It gets annoying really fast. With multiple users, all of their files would get mixed up. People that want to listen to Spotify have to log out of their previous user's account and then log back into theirs. If one user installs something, everyone has to deal with it and everyone's forced to use the same operating system. To solve this, each user can create their own user account on the computer with different operating systems and different programs installed. Now, no files will get mixed up. Everyone has a separate account and can enjoy a private experience even though they're still using the same computer. Well, this is pretty much how a VPS works. When buying, you tell the provider how many resources you want to use for your website or app. A virtual environment gets created to your specifications. While you still technically use the same hardware, all users have their private little piece of it, and you don't have to fight for space or power with the other sites on that server. And that's not all. Even the cheapest VPS hosting services are usually at least around as powerful or even two times as powerful as the most expensive shared hosting plans, allowing you to have more visitors on your website at the same time and improve browsing speed by loading pages faster. Okay, so why don't more people use virtual private servers? Because you can get a VPS service for as cheap as three or four dollars a month. Well, because in most cases, it's not a set and forget type of deal. There are almost unlimited options for customization and most people don't really know what's good for their projects. So they tend to choose suboptimal and expensive configurations. As a non-tech savvy user, the risk of getting it wrong is just too big compared to the rewards that you're getting. A good example of this complexity would be the control panel. If you're using an unmanaged VPS, well, you don't get one. You either need to install a third-party control panel yourself or manage your server through commands, which is quite difficult to say the least. And if you misconfigure your server, that could lead to outages and security issues. But that doesn't need to be the case. Notice how I said unmanaged VPS. Well, there's another type of VPS service, it's called managed VPS. It's still a new type of service for the web hosting market and it just works right out of the box as you would expect it to. It's still based on the exact same principles as a regular VPS, meaning you still get a set amount of resources within a physical server, except you don't have to go through the setup and maintenance steps yourself. For example, if you go with Scala hosting managed VPS plans, we set it all up, handle server uptime and monitoring, take care of the backups, caching, and provide you 24 seven support if you have any questions. Managed VPS is not as customizable as regular VPS plans, but they're made to be a great choice for 99% of the users. I would recommend going with managed VPS if you're a medium-sized business owner and you don't have an in-house IT department. It's a bit of an overkill for passion projects, but if you plan to make a living through your website or it's an integral part of your business, a VPS solution will be miles better than a shared hosting one. I always try to calculate how much one hour of my work is worth. Since with managed VPS, you're trading your time for money. If your hour is worth $20, that makes a $10 per month managed VPS plan cheaper than a $5 per month regular VPS plan. Because instead of spending 10 hours managing everything, you can only spend one or two. I hope this sheds some light on the complicated topics of VPS, for more great information about how to optimize and build your websites, check out our channel.